This is the kingdom experience here. This is a feeling unlike many other feelings in the world. We're gonna try out three newest clubs that TaylorMade has to offer. I mean, they are beautiful, and you can see that they're TaylorMade, but they also look totally fresh. Man, that's good. Oh, that is sick. Uh, All right, folks. Everybody wants to be in a kingdom. We're at the kingdom. We're gonna try out three newest clubs TaylorMade has to offer three basically completely reimagined irons. We've got a new 790, a new 760, and a new 730. We're basically here to test all of the new irons. I currently play the 760s, so we're gonna take a look at switching them out. These new irons are all gonna be smaller and most likely a little less forgiving. If you wanna really get a taste of the full Kingdom experience, check out the first video we did here last year where I came away with the 760s. They fit me in a six and a half Project X rifle shaft, which is a little bit diesel for me. I'm kind of thinking I want to go with a little bit of a lighter shaft. How many balls do you think we're going to hit today? 500? <laughs> Hope not. Hope's not. <laughs> Luckily, we're outside, so we can maintain social distancing without wearing a mask. Outside. Outside. We're okay. Keep our distance. Yeah. It's good. Cause I had a lot of beans yesterday, so you don't want to be too close to me. This is a feeling unlike many other feelings in the world. This is great because Snowball is at home, but he's also right here. Look at that little cutie. When we came to the kingdom last time, I went from my old clubs into the 760s. And, you know, with any new club, new shaft, new fitting experience, there's an adjustment period. Adult life is all about loss and uh, going through change. So that's, that's what we're doing today. Matt, did you design the clubs? I can't take credit for all of it. There's a team of us, but yeah, I oversee the irons category here at TaylorMade. Before I look at the clubs, because I've only been looking at your beautiful eyes. Likewise. <laughs> Don't look at the clubs yet. I haven't seen them. You shouldn't get to see them before me. Have you looked? All right, let's take a look. What do you want to show me first? Might as well start with the candy. The candy. Go, go with the MB. So this one's a little bit different than anything else that TaylorMade's ever produced. Different from anything else in the marketplace today. The concept behind this design was to do something that's elegant and timeless, clean, but captivating. I think that we really captured it here with the new MB. The 7MB here, along with these other irons, are forged products. This is a single piece forged construction. Minimal hand polishing to ensure as much quality as possible. And uh, really, it's just all about craftsmanship with this guy. And this is the successor to the 730. That's correct. Whew. Yeah, that is the candy. Next, we'll step up. We'll hit, bring in just a hint of forgiveness. Oh. And then you have the all new P7MC. Oh. So MC standing for muscle cavity, MB stood for muscle back. So this was designed to replace the P750, which our tour players absolutely love, our home pro staffers love, and then also the better players in the marketplace get a lot of questions like, when are you going to come out with another 750? So the concept here was, let's take everything people love about the 750, um, put a new design on it, and tweak the back bar a little bit to give it a more soft and solid feel. This one's just ball striker that wants a little bit of forgiveness. Okay. I always Anyways. like forgiveness. This next one's got some foam. This next one's got some serious performance right. in it. Here, the P770 is all new for the lineup, and we haven't had anything like this yet. It's different from the 760, and it's different from the 790. The idea behind this is we wanted to take everything that made the 790 successful. So it's beautiful, it's all out performance, and it sounds and feels great, but I wanted to put it in a smaller head shape. So this is the same size as a 760 virtually, but performs almost as well, or almost as long as a 790. Interesting. So based on what I've heard about your game, I think that this is really You think this be, is for me? Uh, at least in the top end of your set. You mean like three to six iron? Yeah. This is really interesting. And this is also tungsten. This it does have tungsten in the three to the seven iron. It's got up to 46 and a half grams, okay. which allows us to drive that center of gravity really low in the club head. That gives you a high launching ball flight, but also builds in some stability, even though you have a more compact head shape. So super clean across the board. You see how those all marry together. And you could picture any of these irons. And the new 790, obviously, which you guys have seen, yeah. pairs together nicely with them as well. Great work. I mean, they are, they're, they're beautiful. And you can see that they're tailor-made, but they also look totally fresh. And then my favorite part about the MC is this T-bug here is actually forged into the head itself, so it's metal. Um, and then we polish it to a mirror finish so it illuminates like a jewel. All the refinements that make a player's iron, it, it separates it, you know, takes it to that next level. That's what we really wanted to do. What are we doing here? So we, we're gonna, we're, we wanna get into the new iron, right? Yeah. So what do you, you kind of learn the tech story already a little bit, right? Yeah. 
What's your first thought? First thought is combo set MC Zembies. I love it. How have these been? I love these. You love these. These are great. Do everything you want. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I really like them. They the distance trajectory. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start. Let's hit some. I just want to kind of get a grasp of your seven iron, kind of where you've been at. Cool. Get some data going. Cool. There we go. That was good right there. That was solid. Perfect. I mean, I played the '90s for a minute, yeah. and that was kind of a stock setup. Those were pretty high, so I was trying to bring it down from those. That was really good there. Yeah. Huh? That's that's about a seven iron for me. That's what. That's perfect right there. All right, we'll put them together and try here. Cool. All three of our new iron heads, and uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab the three heads. I'm gonna grab a few different shafts to try. We're gonna, we're gonna definitely try the one that he's been in for a while now. And I got a couple ideas that maybe we can change shaft up a little bit to try to maybe maximize these for him a bit. I brought NS Pro 120X and also Dynamic Gold 120X. The idea there is to just give him something that's gonna flex a little bit more for him, give him a little bit more hit. So first one we're gonna pull is 770. So it's the same loft spec as 760 to start. So I wanna see what this is gonna do for you. We're gonna do the same shaft as you've been playing, same line angle, everything, just to get kind of an apples and apples comparison. So guys that really like the performance characteristics of the 790, but want something a little smaller package. Right. That really just now all of a sudden, okay, now this is a good looking iron that's got all the performance that we need. Right? Yeah. Player 790. Exactly. Baby yeah. 790. Baby, yeah. I mean, huh. all of these things I like. Yes. Oh! <laughs> wow. That was so good. Good. Good feel there. That was like the perfect shot. That was a one and a half yard draw. Yeah. And it didn't really think about it too much. Yeah. yeah. The, the speed of the face. The center of gravity of the iron is really helping the ball get up in the air. Really what we're in versus what you've been playing is similar, all the package is the same, really it's just a little bit more help both with trajectory and then with distance, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna get to the point where we're gonna play a little bit more, we're gonna try a little more loft, a little more compact iron that's gonna help you shape it a little bit more. Right. And we'll see where we wanna go, you know, figuring out what iron we wanna play. Is it, we wanna play the smallest looking iron that we're comfortable with playing and everything until we get to a point where, hey, the five iron doesn't go as far as it should. Yeah. All right, we're gonna look at the numbers. Numbers don't lie. They literally cannot lie, it's impossible. Right. What I kind of do is kind of highlight the differences we saw here. Like we said, this is just very much an apples to apples head change, right? So, you know, you, you have really good ball speed with the seven iron. So 122 miles an hour with the seven iron, really strong ball speed, as you know. And your launch angle and spin rate are, are very good, right in the realm that we want. You know, we talk about 15 to 17 degrees of launch angle and somewhere between, for a seven iron, somewhere between 5,500 and 6,500 spin is about in the ideal window. And you're right in the middle of that. Okay. We want to get it as steep as we can, right. as long as we're getting the distance we deserve, right? And then also we don't want it so steep that we're going to be impacting like the conditions. Like if we, you know, one way to make it real steep is to have a lot of spin. Right. Well, if you have too much spin, then that's going to be, you know, the ball is not going to be able to control in the wind, right? You're going to, you're going to not get the distance you deserve, but you're also not going to be able to really control it when it's up there as well. Yeah. And so where I'm at with you with the spin rate's really good, right? I mean, the, the spin rate's right in the realm that we want it. Depending on what you're after though, like when we talk about, hey, do we want a little more trajectory? Do we want a little more distance? Do we do we want more workability? We'll kind of work into the iron that, that fits that. Okay. The basic change from 760 to 770 is purely a little bit of speed, or 790 was got all the speed and, and all the performance that we need, but it's in a package that's a little bigger than a lot of good players want to see something yeah. a little smaller, but they still want the distance. From 760 to 770, all the playing characteristics are pretty darn similar. Yeah. We just get a little bit more out of it. We're probably gonna work into some sort of combo set just because I know who you are already. That's kind of what I'm after with that one. I want to show you what it was like. Cool. Let's let's keep the same shaft for now. Let's try the next one smaller. Okay. okay. We're gonna go to the P7MC now. A truly forged iron, all the way forged from a block of steel. In a traditional muscle cavity type design, what they do is they we, we move the weight to the outside of the iron, right? We move the weight all the way to the outside of the iron to to increase the forgiveness a bit, right? Well, what happens when we move the the weight a little bit away from the sweet spot? At times, we can sacrifice a bit of feel to gain that forgiveness, right? Well, what we've done here is we still have a lot of weight moved out to the edges, but we increase the amount of weight right behind the sweet spot to really give it that solid feel. And that's really what this player is all about. Definitely gonna be adjusting for a minute, you know, but that's what we did. You get comfortable with the swing, then you make an adjustment. Then you, you keep leveling up and you just keep, it's like building a little lasagna, you know? You just keep putting layers of information and technology and newness 
So switching clubs, yeah, I mean, it demands attention, right? But I'm all about it, I love it. So I wanna give you something that kicks a little bit and it's easier to vary trajectories and cool. vary shapes. All right, let's try it. That's crazy, so basically what we did was is we accentuated not my miss yeah. to basically allow me to get closer to my miss. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make any sense? It does to me. <laughs> Yo, that's so that's crazy. Oh! Yo. We could definitely see the ball kind of hanging in the oh, air, yeah. floating a little bit. It, got in the, uh... it just looks controllable now. What's really cool about this is we're almost back to the ball speed that we started the day with. And this is a weaker iron, less face performance, right? And we're almost getting back at the speed. And I think a lot of it has to do with giving you a little bit more of the confidence or the feeling that, hey, I can actually go after it a little bit. Yeah. We're playing a weaker iron, but we're getting the same speed and almost the same carry here. That's because now we've got a, a shaft that fits him a little bit better that helps kick it a little bit. So now with the change in lock, he's still able to flight it the same way and still able to produce very similar launch and spin rates than where he was at with the 760. Dude, I'm into this. Yeah, that's What next? Cool. Let's pull another one out. All right, folks, this is MV. This is beyond me. This is literally beyond me. Please hit this good. You can really feel the ball climb up the club face. Uh -huh. Way more than the other two. <laughs> that is pretty, man. What's the uh, what's the numbers on that, on yeah. carry? So that was 160 yards. So this is similar to the last set in the MC is, is that we're not having, there's no help behind the head. There's no face flexing to generate a little bit more speed. And so the loft's gonna play pretty true. Right. Oh. So since we get weaker in loft, this is about what I would expect. A little bit higher on launch angle, similar spin rates, but that's going to, you know, and then the speed comes down a little bit. And so, you know, with the loft and so you're going to, you're going to get, you know, five or six yards less yeah. than even the last set. I would do a combo set of those yeah. two. Yeah. That's MC 770 set with the Moda shaft. Yep. Let's go to the post office. I would leave it a little up to you, but we could hit both six irons. I would think for sure a four and a five in the 770. Sure. Right, and then you know, six iron in my mind, you could kind of pick which, okay. which either one performs a little better. But the seven iron down, you got no problem playing the MC. Cool, I appreciate cool. that. That is a compliment. That I appreciate is. that. It is. Very cool. We should hit some little longer irons, huh? Yeah, I'm down. Got them inside. Let's ride. You know, I want to hit. I want to hit. Uh, let's hit a couple of these in the six first. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're gonna do the MC six iron. Ninety-two. All right, didn't hit 500 balls, didn't need to. We went with the combo set. We went with the 770s, remember the baby version of the 790s in the low clubs, four, five, and six. And those are gonna be bent to be a little weaker because they're you know, a little bit hotter. And then we have the MCs, the muscle cavities, essentially the extension of the 750s in the shorter irons, seven through pitching wedge. Then also got the new shaft, the uh, Nippon Modus 120. To say I'm excited is a drastic understatement. Technology, meeting art, these clubs are obviously a piece of art. Curious to know what you think. Which clubs would you get? Also, are you in this plane right now? Because you've been flying over us all day and we always have to keep pausing for the sound. But if you're not the guy in that plane, have a great time. Swipe up, subscribe, and see you on the next one.